I love this next topic. Uh, young women are introduced at an early age to the importance of being beautiful. Sean, I know you can kind of sort of relate to this, but for women, it can mean the difference between a successful life and an unsuccessful life. It seems so all important. Well, our perceptions of beauty are always changing and thankfully expanding to include a celebration of blackness. And our next guest is doing something really incredible in the field. Absolutely, Sharon Truda. She is the founder of Oma Beauty and she's joining us now from Beverly Hills. It's great to talk to you. How are you? Uh, I'm great, thank you, and thanks for having me today. It's a beautiful day. It's LA is always sunny, so so it's all good. Yeah, I know. I can tell it's the sun hitting your skin. Beautiful. I wish oh. I had the same thing here. I'm in a dark room. It's tragic. Uh, let's talk about this. Oh, oh, no, I feed off the light. I love it. And like, you, know, <laughs> you are you are the light. Up, you know, it lets your highlighter pop. So what <laughs> can I say? <laughs> you are the, you are the light. Let's talk about the uh, this make it black campaign. This is something uh, that you're starting to see more and more of this, and thank goodness because. There should be nobody on this planet that shouldn't feel comfortable in their own skin. Tell us about this campaign. Yes, I mean, Make It Black is a campaign that's launched to really celebrate the beauty of black. Most people don't know, but if you even go to your dictionaries and look at the related words and synonyms of black, you have evil, ugly. And whereas people go like, well, that's talking about black, the color, not black, the people. What they don't relate to is the black experience, you know, being born and understanding at a young age, you're different, but not different good, you're different bad. Yeah. Everything about you is ugly, is nasty, is not human. And then even when you come into the color, it's associated with darkness, evil, macabre, like everything nasty, without any positive context put on it. Like uh, black is the color of luxury, it's timeless, it's classic, it's chic, it's formal. Somehow all of these words don't make it into the dictionary. And so this month, what we want to do is one, challenge that because language should best be neutral and not biased right mm -hmm. uh, because we know how we relate to the humans or even the animals that wear that color black animals are the least adopted people see black cats and they hate them right oh. uh black birds people actively right. kill black birds because of the idea that they're evil we've never met a witch before uh it's never really has never happened before but all those ideas have set our consciousness so what we're doing this month is challenging that and also celebrating the beauty of black. So we partnered with eight iconic beauty brands, transformed their normal products and their best selling products to black, and they look stunning. And through that, we're using 100% of the net pro, uh, proceeds to support black founders. So there's really three pillars to make it black. One, challenging language, which shapes our collective consciousness. Yeah. Two, celebrating the beauty of black, because we know black is beautiful. And the third part, raising money for those who need it the most. How do you not love her? Oh, way? Sharon, <laughs> I tell you, your energy, you are just radiating. I love that you, you know, you have these beliefs, but you're acting upon them and you realize the importance of supporting business at the same time. Girl, you are making changes and this is awesome. Part of the changes you are interested in making is just in our perceptions. I mean, I will say even from my upbringing, I grew up with kind of a very narrow uh concept of what beautiful was even for me just as a little uh -huh. white girl from washington state there were certain things that w would qualify me as being beautiful and otherwise i was just outside outside the group so how do you uh, yes. feel that you are helping to shift the perception of beauty and blackness yes i think you know shifting that perception one is understanding that beauty is an eye of the beholder right yeah. uh, beauty is not something somebody can give to you it's something that you are and re make it empowering everybody to feel that way. You know, whether it's because you're black, whether it's the size of your body or whatever, beauty comes from within you. Beauty is inside you and radiates out. Confidence is the most beautiful accessory that you have, right? And so what we need to do is shift that and make people more comfortable in their skin. Um, and no matter what the world is saying to you, you turn it around and say, I'm beautiful, because guess what? The world can't even make up their mind on what's beautiful. You know, there was a time where you had to be blonde hair, blue eyed to be beautiful. Even if you were white and brunette, right. you weren't beautiful right and so and so every season you had a new definition of beauty well guess what humans can't transition every season so it seemed like everybody had their moment for six months and they're okay now you're ugly right and that's ridiculous when you think about it and yeah. so for me and especially like even me growing up right i was called froggy because my eyes were too big and my lips were too big my cheekbones were too high now people ask me oh who's your doctor who, who got your work done and i'm like well the lord got that work done and he did a bloody good job right and so and so um you know and so that's the thing it's fleeting and so i want to inspire it and celebrate and make sure people understand the beauty is you it is not something anybody can give to you it is something that you mm. claim and you wear it and you enjoy it who cares what other people think right and then most importantly for black women who we are so 
we are never appreciated. We're always vilified when black women, our bodies, we had big hips and big butt. We were made caricatures of because it was like it's ugly, our big lips and whatever. And enter people with light skin with those features, and now everybody's having surgery to get, get a big butt, right? And so I speak particularly to black women to go, you are beautiful. You are so beautiful, your head defies gravity. Imagine that. Literally, our head defies gravity. Um, that is special. It's yeah. not nappy. It's not something to be embarrassed about. The country I come from, eight out of 10 women bleach their skin. My hair started getting straightened from wow. when I was about two years old. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a change is going to wow. come, and you're being a huge part of that change. Uh, if people want to learn more yeah, about, about your mission, makeitblack.org is the website, and people can support the cause. Yes, absolutely. And they can support in a few ways. They can support by, you know, buying the products and, and so we can reallocate that money. We're trying to raise $5 million in the month of February to support black founders. Um, people don't understand the impact of what I call economic allyship. If you want to be an ally, be an economic ally is the best kind of allyship. I That's right. out of time, but thank you so much. Your energy is amazing. We can talk about it all day. Listen, thank money you. talks. And if yep. you're going to spend your money, absolutely. make sure you spend it in a wise way. You want to learn more, go to Make It Black. Or my goodness, I, I, I want to like connect electric lines to Sharon. She could power the world. <laughs> She's a light.